Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's Sport Federation TV, where, of course, we talk about sport in the Western Cape across the province and our various sport codes. And, of course, it's a big year for sport uh, across the world. It's the Olympic year. So we're seeing a lot of athletes, of course, preparing for, uh, well, those at least that have qualified and national federations preparing for the Olympics. But certainly in the Western Cape, Olympic spirit does seem to be uh, biting. But our federations are active across the province, competing, not only competing in their interprovincials and their national events, but they also are involved with uh, sport development, club development, and, of course, um, bringing sport to the people. We're going to talk about sailing tonight, folks. Western Cape Sailing is in the house, and from the uh, uh, little optimist center, I've got in studio with me Amir Yahya and Shane Joseph. Shane, welcome. Thank you very much. Great to be here. And Amir, nice to have you here. Thank you for having us. Did I sum that up right? Uh, little optimist is your... Um, your, your structure that you guys are with? 1,000%. Myself and Shane, we're the sailing managers and lead sailing instructors at the charity. Yeah. Uh, funny that you talk about the Olympics. We're actually sponsored by Paris Olympics as one of the charities that won this grant to actually run a sailing therapy program in uh, Battery Park Waterfront. So is that is that what your structure, how it works? Is, is you're actually, you've got a structure. Tell us a little about the structure first um, and then about how did it get set up with the grant? Cool, no problem. So we started working with this trust back in 2017 where we got on board with the founder, Greg Bertish. Um, we take this one-day sailing program and we take it to communities like the ones that myself and Shane come from, so children's hospitals, disadvantaged communities, yeah. and we offer sailing as a form of therapy to these kids to get them out of their conditions or the, the, the living state that they're living in and just bring them to a place where um, sailing changed our lives, and now we inspiring them in the, in the same form. That's amazing. And Shane, so how did you get involved in sailing? I started sailing um, since I was grade 8, so I would say about 14 years old. Yeah. Uh, I started high school. Uh, it started off as quite a joy, fun, you know, it's just all the friends getting together, having a, a blast of a time. And it just started to develop over that with our coaches and kind of seeing potential in us without mm. us seeing potential in ourselves. And they would just send us to events, you know, we went different places. And then I was like, okay, maybe they are starting to see something that I'm not seeing in myself. And it's just something about sailing just drawed me closer than what any other sport. Like I was always into soccer, but we always just kept on going to this one consistent venue. And I was like, yeah. wait, I need to change something up, you know. And the coach actually told me, it's either going to do the sailing or you're going to do the soccer. You have to decide because both the events would be like on a Saturday or something, you know. Yeah. And I was just like, okay, sailing it is because I've always loved the ocean since young, always going to the beaches, you know, swimming there, having nice fun times. And then it just brought me back to sailing and that's where I fell in love. So what I'm curious about, Amir, maybe you should jump in here yeah, or, or both of you, in fact, Shane, is... You say that yeah, you know, you got started in sailing, but I think for a lot of people, they don't understand what that means. Like, mm -hmm. you know, do you have to have a, a, a yacht? Is there a club that you can go to? Like, so when, or, or, you know, when people say, "Oh, get involved in sailing," that's a big statement. Yeah. You know, but like for each of you, somewhere there was a starting point. You must have had a friend that said, mm -hmm. "Come to a club," or a coach that said, "Come to the club," and somebody must have welcomed you at the club to say. Come and join us. I mean, how, what's the ground level entry for anyone that's watching the show now? For myself and Shane, we are that friend to each other. Um, myself and Shane, we, we stay in the same road. We grew up together and we started sailing together at the same age. We're the same age as well. But uh, how did you start sailing? Like, did mom or dad or a friend or someone take you to a club? Yeah, no, we actually started through this development sailing center at Zikufle Yacht Club. Okay. Uh, we are the Zikufle Sailing Center. Uh, we started sailing there back, like Shane said, in uh, grade 8. And then mm -hmm. from that, uh, we took a like into the sport, and then that's how we got involved. Sailing is um, a very expensive sport, I, I would put it like that. Um, and myself and Shane, we could definitely not own a boat right now, but eventually, <laughs> yeah. hopefully in the future, we will one day own a boat. But we got into the sport through a development center, yeah. um, and we never looked back. So, Shane, when you went for your very first, call yeah. it, sailing lesson, yes, sir. Uh, what, did, what was that? What did, what, what, did, what did you do on the day when you arrived there for the first time? You must have thought, wow, this is a little bit crazy. There's all these boats and yachts mm -hmm. and things, yeah. you know, but there must be an entry point. So it was it was an extra mural activity, mm. right? Uh, so okay. there we go. So at school, so when you start, you get to choose what activities you want to do, you know? Yeah. And then sailing was one of them. And then I said, okay, let's give it a go. And then all the, the friends would gather up, and we went down to the Zikufla Yacht Club Academy, and we saw all these boats lined up, parked, and we were like, okay, this is what we're going to get on, you know? 
and then they started to teach us a little bit about the knot. So we first started with the knot tying, you know, um, how to position yourself in the boat, how to steer the boat, how do you handle yourself with the boat. And after that, we, they would just send us out onto the water and then just get an experience for yourself. Because explaining how sailing works on the land and experiencing on the water are two totally different things, yeah. understand? So when we got onto the water by that time, oh, it was just so, a totally different feeling. So, yeah, Amir, tell me a little bit about the, some of the projects that you guys have done. You've got a little bit, a little Optimist, I mean, or the, the Optimist program there. We know about that. Greg Bertish has been around the world, and the Optimist, you know, is obviously a household name in mm. South Africa. Has been, he's been instrumental in... In, in driving that as a charity for, for a long time with these little optimists, which, uh, folks, if you haven't seen it, it's a tiny, tiny little yacht. It's about four, four meters long and it goes around the world in this yacht. It's quite amazing. Um, but tell me about some of the uh, uh, sort of projects that you guys do. Like uh, you say that you've, you, 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 you bring in um, kids maybe from children's hospitals, etc. What are the sort of uh, projects? Yeah. Uh, f yeah, f it's, it's good that you mentioned that. So we actually now um, creating an adaptive sailing boat in the Optimus now where we can make sailing inclusive for everybody. So people that's definitely able. We even had kids that come from um, from these backgrounds on wheelchairs and we put them in the boat. Right. That's, a, that's a big step because we're trying to create this boat now and it's been done um, in the world and we're trying to take inspiration from that where we create this adaptive boat. But not only that and making sailing more inclusive and, and accessible for everybody, we also uh, uh, through the charity, um, going around and, and renovating bathrooms, uh, um, doing things like uh, um, community work and things like yeah. that. But you've both got proper sailing experience. Um, yeah, you said. I mean, you've, you're a, you're a national champion yourself. But you guys, when you're not doing all the charity work, do you actually still competing? That's correct. Yes, that's correct. We compete different places in around Western Cape. You know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, Shane. How do how do the ki how do you f guys find the kids? Um, do you guys go to different hospitals? I mean, uh, Shane said that, that when he started it was an extramural activity. Yes. From the optimist point of view, do they engage with different ch different hospitals and invite them? Different yeah. uh, schools and invite them? Yeah, so that's correct. Yeah. So the little optimist, so they go out to the schools, right, and then they go make a good relationship with the schools, the principals, gather f a couple of kids to join our program. So we. Just yeah. about exposing it at the moment, so it's growing. It started now two, two years that it's fully up and running on its own now, okay? So they go to the children's schools, they go to the hospitals, getting good connection, and it's because why we want to showcase that what are we all about? We are a sailing therapy as to a high-performance sailing. Okay, so yacht clubs and things, they would do more high-performance sailing, whereas the little optimist, we do sailing therapy. What does that mean? What does sailing therapy mean? Uh, is, is it for people with traumatized mm, backgrounds? Yes. Or, or, or people who are having sleep, to st sleep, can't sleep, or what sort of therapy? I, I feel like it's, it, it's, it's getting a child from, from a, a background um, where we couldn't even imagine. Myself and Shane, we come from similar backgrounds to the ones that these kids come from, so we can relate a bit to that. But it's about getting them from that space and bringing them into an environment where mm. it's a safe environment, where they can learn, where they can create, where they can be themselves. Um, yeah. And this structure is sponsored through the Paris Olympics program? Yeah. Sponsored through the Paris Olympics program. We're affiliated with South African Sailing. And there's so much people that wants to get on board yeah. with the little Optimus. We always uh, try to promote that. If anybody wants to get involved, you bring your kid here, JP, um, to our uh, organization that helps a kid that couldn't be able to yeah. afford to get onto a program like this. Because as you know, sailing, for all other sports out there, it's hard to get into the sport if you come from a background like the ones that we come from. Yeah. So is there a, pro, a process, a pathway mm -hmm. for, for kids or adults who come to your program who maybe they get a, a feel for the sailing and they say, well, I'd like to carry on doing this. I want to join a club. I want to actually compete. Uh, it's not just there for the therapy. They get into it, and, and then there's a next step. There is a next step, um, 100%. So we can relate that a lot because we come from that same program where we got down there to the water, and that's where we knew we yeah. wanted to be. And uh, the same for these kids that come uh, um, from, the, from this background. They get down there, and then they want to compete, and then they fall in love with the sport. And then we are creating the next step for that. We create in a six-week yeah. program where we actually take these kids from the canals, and we put them out onto a lake or whether it be um, the ocean, and we actually train them up to compete on the highest level as well. That's amazing. So, Shane, um, how would, uh, if anybody is watching this now, how would they get involved? 
Do they go to a website or a Facebook page? How do they reach out to you guys if they want to come to Sikwe Fle? Well, is, that's the pro, uh, we, we are talking about it, the, the sailing center. Yeah, the sailing center is at Sikwe Sailing Center, but if you want to come down to um, the Little Optimus Trust, we are based in Battery Park Waterfront, and okay. you can look us up on social media. We okay. are the Little Optimus Sailing Trust. You can look us up on our website, and then also you can contact myself and Shane directly, whether it be on social media, Amir, Yahya, um, and Shane Joseph. You can just look us up. Um, yeah. Yeah. So the so Shane, it's there in the in the waterfront. In the waterfront, in Vienna, Battery yeah. Park. Eat us up. Come down. See what you're all about, guys. Please, it's it's really amazing what we're doing. Is something totally different. Um, we are actually aspiring the kids to to be good role models mm -hmm. one day, and we are leading by example, showing them that we're coming from those situations, those areas that they are coming from. And we're showing that, um, that the change can happen, you know. Right, there we go, folks. It's a fantastic way for you to stay positive, the little optimist guys. Uh, Shane, Amir, thanks for joining us. Um, I'm hoping that everyone who's watching this program is going to be reaching out to you guys and getting down to Battery Park, getting involved in sailing. What you guys are doing is amazing. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so don't take the foot off the gas. Yeah. Mm. Or should we say don't take the wind out of the sails? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, there we go, folks. Reach out then to the Little Optimist uh, Trust. It's, of course, uh, part of Western Cape Sailing, which is part of South African Sailing. The guys are doing amazing work. And we definitely have to get them back in studio to find out more about how you can, of course, uh, get involved. That's a wrap from us this evening. We'll see you again next week. Same time, same place. Have a fantastic sporting weekend. Bye-bye.